Today we're talking about flying the business on Virgin Australia domestically from Melbourne to Perth, Perth to Melbourne. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Josh Jansen and this is my girlfriend, my friend. Tommy. Hey, Brie and I are filming the business review. Right, oh, do well, you wanna hang out? Yeah, do you wanna come around? Yeah. We'll see you soon. There you go. Catch Bye. up. Bye. I've just clicked on something. What? Each time you said it, let's do the business review. I yeah. thought it was like a year in review of the actual business. Like full stack business. Uh, no. Hi. We recently went on a trip to Perth. Yes, we did. To celebrate our 10 year anniversary. Disclaimer of this review, we are just giving our experience. We are not going to be going into the nitty gritties. If you are a platinum member with the Virgin Australia Frequent Flyer program, Velocity, you will get four free domestic upgrades a year to business. The business is Virgin Australia's offering on their Melbourne to Perth, Perth to Melbourne flights. On the A330. Yep, that's the best possible use for those upgrades. Yep, it's just over four hours there and then three hours something back. One thing with using the upgrades is you will have to freedom fare. So it's not as cheap as just like getting a saver domestic fare and then upgrading. The tickets cost us a thousand dollars each return. If you were to pay for the business with Perth, I was like just doing the numbers there. It'd be like three grand each return, which is like a ridiculous amount That's of money. Insane. Tip around booking the fares. Make sure you call up Virgin Australia and find out what flights have available upgrades because there'd be nothing worse than like booking a flight and then realizing mm. that there's no business class available. And they can also help tell you whether it's an A330 or whether, you know, what kind of yeah. aircraft it is because that'll because the domestically is the A330. Yeah. So we got to the airport, checked in via the priority queue, is that mm -hmm. what you call it? Yeah. Which Josh gets anyway because he's platinum. We went through there, got straight in. If you are flying business class, you're gonna get access to that anyway. Standard lounge, you can be able to get a coffee. It's nice, um, it's comfortable. It's yeah. somewhere you can chill out. The oh, priority like the toasties. The toasties are great. Melbourne Airport Lounge, they yeah. also have like a security priority section, which is nice. So you just like can go straight through. Location, we were seated in the middle. The good thing about the middle of the airplane is that it does have like a little window thing that connects you to. It would be, a hard decision between either going on the window or in the middle because you're not that close, not close enough to like hold hands or like really interact. But you can still have a little chat. You can have a chat. I missed being at a window seat. Yeah. The only way to sit together is going to be in the middle. In the middle. Uh, otherwise, they're just single seats. What did you think of the service? Lovely. I had a really lovely lady. Um, and she sat down and said, if you flown the business before? And I said, no, I haven't. And she took me through everything and she was just really gentle and warm and really nice. And you get a hot towel, actually. Yeah, That's do the thing. whole That's like... Do the whole thing where you put it on your face and it goes That's cold good. in seconds. And food? I love that warm. What What do you think of the food? Food was good. Uh, the breakfast, I'm not necessarily a fan of Because we had, it was anyway. like a... It was a fritter. It was a fritter. Fritters that had bacon, bacon, all that sort of thing. I mean, when you read the menu, it reads like a Melbourne cafe. Yeah, The does. thing to consider is that like, I think breakfasts are hard to do. The granola was yum. Let's talk about the bread. The bread was good. The yeah. bread was warm uh -huh. and it had fresh butter and the butter was delicious. I love bread. I had butter. Vegemite. What do you think the seat's like? Seat was really comfortable. And you push and you hold it and the seat goes right flat. It was just really, really nice to have my... And I slept when we arrived in Perth. I felt really good because it was a morning flight. They don't give you a duvet at that time. But the lovely air hostess came over to me and said, oh, would you like a blanket? And I said, yes, please. And it was nice. Lots of table room to place different things. There's like a little box which you push a button and it opens up the space to put your headphones in, your USB charger so that you can charge your phone. The entertainment experience. I liked it. I just watched Modern Family. Okay. I watched three and episodes. The headphones were good. Headphones were great. The noise cancellation. So on the way there, we went at 7.45 a.m. We did not get an amenities kit. You get an amenities kit if you fly between, I think, 7 p.m. and 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. Which we did uh, from Perth to Melbourne. Yes. This is the amenities kit. So, oh, that's just a packet to the REN. I think it's REN, R-E-N. Um, clean skincare, so you get a lip balm, which is quite hydrating. Josh loved it, loved yeah, it up. Yeah, it was me. great. She says I put too much on. It was, <laughs> and then socks, eyebrows, oh cute, earplugs. They did used to have grown alchemist. They balance, still do in the lounge. Um... Which I did like, but it's gonna be blurry. I actually quite like the pouch that you get 
it's quite good. We actually normally keep them for when we like flying economy. But I do use, I normally use the toothbrush and toothpaste. In conclusion, mm. Wouldn't pay full price. No, it wouldn't pay full price. The seat was very comfortable though. Yeah. But very for, comfortable. For and it was so nice to have my feet up. That was one thing I really, really liked. Like at no point, and it, it was cushy as well. And it was nice to have a little blanket. The whole lying flat thing was great. But not when you stuff your face at like 10 p.m. because you want to enjoy the food on the flight. And then lie flat, and then there's turbulence. The supper was amazing. Like that, it was like, a, what was it? It was like a soup, but like a chilli kind of soup. Mm -hmm. Maybe it had cumin or something yeah. in it. That was delicious. Was Cuban. I don't know. You would use the business internationally. Yes. But the point being, you would not use the business unless you were using those domestic upgrades. We can only use them domestically. And the upgrades expire, so you only get to use the upgrades like if you get for a year. Yeah. The business would be killer going to LA. I think that Melbourne to Perth, it's not enough time to really get any rest or really use the flatbed. It's a short flight. It is the best domestic business that I've seen. Incredible. This hasn't been a technical review, but hopefully you've gotten something out of it. We will be doing some more flight related stuff, some frequent fly hacking, all of that good stuff. Josh is very good at it. I've got friends that are. Please subscribe. Thank you for listening. Thank you for joining us. And this is Bree. Uh, you don't have a YouTube channel, but you'll be back. Will you be back? I'll come back. Great. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Have a good one. Fly safe. Bye. Bye. That was good, yeah? Yeah, it's great. So we'll record this time.